All right, and then Ritesh Ranjan joins us from Chennai on the phone line for this. Well, Ritesh, a historic moment for India's space sector as the first ever controlled flight of a semi cryogenic liquid engine realized through additive manufacturing. Can you tell us more on this? Well, indeed, it is a proud moment for all the Indians that uh, we have, uh, you know, succeeded this. And it was when uh, last time, uh, uh, last Tuesday, when the launch was supposed to take place, uh, but just before that, uh, before night, uh, Monday night, uh, I spoke with uh, Srinath and Moin, who are the co-founders of this uh, Agnikul uh, company. So they were saying that, you know, uh, we are learning from, uh, you know, uh, every time we fail to launch. Uh, uh, the, uh, failure is, uh, you know, it, uh, actually it is proving that failure is a step towards success. So that is what they have proved. And this is, uh, you know, in the last uh, um, a couple of months, we have seen major, uh, you know, activities in space research field. So we are seeing that, you know, uh, that, that this milestone will give us a more, uh, will center us more in space and science research uh, field. And especially when after the launch of this uh, site, this is a test launch. I, I just wanted, uh, I just want to tell again that, you know, this is a All test right. launch. Yeah a test launch rocket where after this there are many more things uh, you know they said that we will we are in a uh, you know plan so we can see many more things in coming days you know following days that there, there could be many things and in space science they were you know uh, Srinath was actually mentioning that uh, sitting here having a control over the satellite we can do uh, many research uh, in space you know with the help of the satellites so that is what these guys are planning and after this successful launch i uh, there are many more uh, you know uh, commercial uh, uh, space research company is uh, will come up and india and other countries are also eyeing on it all right. Also, uh, as you told us after last uh, four failed attempts, uh, start set up finally uh, became successful. A huge win for India. Uh, the mission, which lasted approximately two minutes, I think, uh, marked a major achievement for the company and the country in the development of indigenous space technology. Uh, so how do we benefit from that? See, uh, th this is first thing. This is a test launch of a rocket. After this, we'll start sending, and you know, in the uh, Earth's lower orbit, we'll start sending satellites, uh, which would be actually working for uh, you know, catering the needs of private companies, their research and all. So these, these are the space. You know, these are the uh, field we can actually uh, explore many things, and uh, uh, there are space research companies. Uh, from India and abroad, right. and there are other technological companies which are uh, wanting to, which are actually willing to do some research in the field of space yes. uh, science. So this can actually help. What we can do, and uh, let me tell you one thing that you know, uh, we see, uh, we face this, uh, you know, uh, network problem many times. Like last time when I was there in Sriharikota, Kota, uh, uh, in the control panel room, we were not having any network. We were not able to connect right. to our team members. Right. So we have to come out. So all these kind of problems can be sorted out if, you know, such a thing is coming up. So that is what Moin and uh, Srinath was talking last time. All right. And yeah. after, uh, by this, we will have, you know, navigation, climate change yes. and internet uh, issues we can be sorted out. Yes, huge opportunities there. Thank you so much, Ritesh, for joining us and letting us know all that information.